Fall is upon us, and more than ever, it's important to keep your health and your beauty in check. Here's Maria with more. As another season of fun in the sun ends, we can't help but notice the effects of seasonal elements and what they've left behind on our skin. Dermatologist Dr. Erin Gilbert is here to share her inside secrets to get us fresh faced for fall. Good morning, Dr. Gilbert. Good morning, Maria. So what are some good building blocks uh, that we can do to help refresh our skin? Well, you know, just as the seasons change from summer to fall, we want to be thinking about ways we can change our skin and beauty routines. And there are three main areas that I like to talk about. The first is to cleanse, second is to hydrate, and the third is to rejuvenate. Now, first, cleansing. As the temperature shifts, your skin may also experience some changes. And that's usually because of differing humidity and also some of the harsher elements that you're going to encounter. If you've got acne-prone skin, I like to use the acne the clean and clear advantage acne control three-in-one foaming wash it combines an oil dissolving technology and also two percent salicylic acid and that's going to give you thoroughly cleansed skin as well as control future breakouts and it's gentle enough to use every day and for normal or sensitive skin types I like something hypoallergenic that doesn't contain any preservatives dyes or detergents the Neutrogena original formula facial bar has been a skincare staple for many many years because of its pure mild cleansing and it's actually celebrating its 60th anniversary this year Wow and so what are some simple quick fixes so we can get that glow back because we know here in Arizona that Sun is always beating down on us well, the next couple of steps that you want to take to getting that glow back are hydrating and rejuvenating. We know that fall could be super busy, so what I'd like to do is to recommend that people use a product that does double duty. And what I like is Aveeno's Positively Radiant CC Cream with SPF 30. It's a multitasking CC cream that harnesses the power of soy, and what that's going to do is brighten and it's going to protect and instantly enhance your skin's natural radiance. And we know, and you especially know, being in a place like Tucson, you get a lot of sun exposure when you're there, that even low levels of sun exposure over a longer period of time can actually cause damage to the skin that we want to be paying attention to. So what I'd like to talk about for those, uh, for those moments we're thinking about them is actually rejuvenating and reversing those signs of early aging. So the summer can bring with it a little bit of change in our skin texture, like wrinkles and dark spots. And what we want to do is think about the best products we can use and what I like is retinol. Retinol is one of the best studied ingredients that we can use for anti-aging. The uh, Rock Retinol Correction Deep Wrinkle Serum actually contains a pure retinol and also an essential mineral complex and it's been shown after about 12 weeks of use to reduce fine lines and wrinkles. And what are some tips to repair that dry and damaged skin before winter strikes? Well, what I like to recommend is that you actually just be, be pay attention to what kind of cleanser you're using. So you do want to pick a cleanser that's appropriate for your skin type. That's the first thing. The second thing that you want to do is moisturize. And by moisturize, I mean that you want to address your face and also your body. If you tend to be somebody that's got more normal or oily skin, you want to go with a lotion. And if you're somebody who's got dry skin, you want to go with a cream. And what about those with acne prone skin? Because I, I tend to break out on my cheeks. Should I still be moisturizing or does that add to that? Well, what you can do if you're acne prone is use a cleanser um, like, the, like the one I mentioned that has salicylic acid in it. That's a great thing to do. And then what you want to do is use a moisturizer that's oil free. That's important. And, and most things will have a label on it that say non comedogenic. So that's what you want to be looking for to prevent acne breakouts. And Dr. Gilbert, where can we go for more information? For more information on general skin care, I would recommend going to www.aad.org. That's the American Academy of Dermatology's website. Thank you so much for your time this morning. You're welcome. Stay where you are. There's a lot more Morning Blend when we return after these messages.